All right, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Rich Capall. I'm the interim town manager here. I just want to take a minute to say uh, good morning and thank you for all showing up today uh, for what's uh, really an exciting day for us. We're really appreciative for everybody to be here to honor one of our own here in town of Clayton. Uh, many times when we have these events, uh, the naming of parks, the naming of our facilities get attributed to elected officials and other folks in the community, but or, or other folks that have helped build the community. But today we get to actually honor a living legend, Mr. Donald Clyde Sinclair. I'd like to take a quick minute just to recognize some of our elected officials, our town council members, both current and former, as well as Representative Donna White that's in the crowd. If everybody can kind of raise your hands wherever you all are. Uh, it's folks like them that help us be able to make parks like this and other facilities and events uh, possible here in the town. So we really thank all of their efforts. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to one of those council members, Council Member Porter Casey, for some additional remarks. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, Rich. Thank everyone for joining us today on such a hot and beautiful day. What a great turnout. This has been an amazing week for the town of Clayton. On Monday, we celebrated the reopening of Municipal Park with a ribbon cutting. And this crowd today is amazing. We close out the week celebrating the renaming of the park formerly known as All-Star Park. On behalf of the mayor and my fellow council members, thank you for the opportunity to be, be here and speak briefly. I'm a child of the 80s. As a kid, had a love for basketball. I always thought that Jordan was incredible, but I thought the Globes Riders had superpowers. <laughs> I grew up idolizing the Globes Riders. You guys were everywhere from my cartoons to my cereal box. I remember going to Reynolds Coliseum and watching you all play. As a local native and a fellow Comet, we all knew about you and thought it was amazing that Clayton had their very own Globes Rider. Your hard work and God-given talents on the, on the field and the court were legendary and only amplified by the fact that you were on the worldwide stage representing Clayton as a Globetrotter. I'm sure you still have it in you. At some point, I'd love to see you display your talents out here once again. <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity to honor you. And this time, I'd like to turn over to Council Member Sims. Good afternoon. It's hot out here, ain't it? Yeah. Woo! Let's go, let's go. Clyde, where you at, baby? This is really cool for me. It's an honor for me because I know Clyde personally. Me and Clyde actually worked together at uh, Pepsi, and I'm really so excited about this thing that I actually even wore my jumpers today so when we get done with this, I can step back on Clyde a couple times. We can say we're going to go at it or whatever. So I'm really, really excited about this. And when Coach uh, Banks, um, Rod Clark, and uh, Kareem uh, Rowland came before the council and asked for this, it was a no-brainer. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a no-brainer. Not just because of the fact of what he did as far as with the Harlem Globetrotters, but as much like if you ever take a rock and you take and you just skip it. Uh, of course, we look at the skips that the rock is making, but it's also the ripple effects. Clyde has made a lot of ripple effects throughout the community that will go on and on and on from his coaching of kids is encouraging to kids to the point that now you got him the kids that he did and coached and all that now I have become leaders and they're doing the same thing so what is that that's that ripple effect that's taking place so we're extremely excited and happy that it's going to be a landmark here for this park and with that being said I'll ask for Councilman Avery to come up I got a little bit of sweat in my eyes right here. First of all, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. This is a very, very one of those important things that, you know, renaming the Clayton Park, All-Star Park to Donald Sinclair Park is one. It's going to be important, especially as we kind of move forward into our new next generation of kids and, up and upbringing leaders. This is very, 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 very important. And I appreciate each and every one of you for coming out today. And on behalf of my council members as well for helping uh, make this happen. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Banks. Yo, thank you. Yes, sir. Wow, what a what a day. This is definitely a historic moment. Uh, definitely proud to be here, be a part of it. Give you guys a little background. Probably almost a year ago, I'm sitting at home, I get a text message from, well, I'm going to call him Scope. Scope, 
uh, and Foot and said, hey, what do you think about naming, renaming the park after Clyde? And from there, we just went on and started brainstorming. And now, you know, here we are almost 10 months later, we're, we're making it happen, okay? So, so to give some people some background, some of you don't know, uh, in the early 80s, the park was already named, or already called Sinclair Park, or Sinclair Coliseum, all right? Probably from one of the most talented, most athletic families to ever come out of Clayton. I mean, that's everybody, boys, girls, they all could do it. Uh, so we, already, we always know that this was Sinclair Park. Um, on Sundays, there was not a better place to be than, than the court. I mean, this place would be Streets filled up, everybody here. I think there was only one rule, right, Clyde? Like, uh, we couldn't start playing ball on Sunday until church was over. If, if not, if not, Mr. Sinclair, father, will come back there and let you know. All right? <laughs> uh, again, we all know uh, what, what Clyde has done uh, as far as state championships, uh, records at Central, uh, Hall of, Basketball Hall of Fame, travel. 10, 15 different countries. I mean, I mean that's, people, people know that, but I think what you don't know is in the community, uh, we didn't just think of him as a basketball player, all right? Clyde was our uh, guy that we idolized, okay? From local churches, he's sending kids to King Dominion uh, and won another great event on this side of tracks, the Mother's Day, uh, <laughs> Mother's Day cookout. Father's Day cookout that's probably been going, yeah, give him a hand. <laughs> that's probably been going 10 plus years strong. Where not only, um, again, he's looking out for all the senior members of the community. Every year they get a, they get a plate. Again, that, that's definitely a, a testament to um, Clyde, what he's done for this community. And I had about four or five other other uh, pages to read off, but Clyde said, uh, make it make it uh, short and sweet because it's, it's hot out here. So, I got you. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, again, he has always been Clayton's prodigal son. We, we've loved him. We've watched him. Uh, personally, you know, I got a chance to see him not only in Mississippi, but I saw him, you know, just imagine you're somewhere, you know, in Germany and, and, and the glow trial has come. I was like, Oh, that's nothing. I got tickets for everybody. <laughs> you know, because Clyde hooked you up. I mean, but that's what he did. If he was somewhere, it doesn't matter what state or what country, if somebody knew him, he would definitely get you tickets, get you in, and, and get you backstage, all that. Again, Clyde is just one of those, those guys, and, and if you know him, this, he, he's probably over there, like, cringing, because he, he's not a, a public guy. He doesn't want the, the notoriety. We almost had to beg him <laughs> just, just to do this. Uh, funny story, once uh, we, we figured out, we talked to the count, counselor, and, and they said, yeah, go ahead and go with it. So me and uh, Rod Clark, we went to go surprise him. And then we went and we said, hey, hey, Clyde, they're going to rename the uh, court after you. What do you think? And the first thing he said was, can we name it after my parents? Like, not about him. Again, coming from him, without obviously none of this would even be possible without his parents. So one thing we want to do, we're going to have also a regular sign in memory of, of his parents as well. So that'll have something. Yeah. I just got the wink. So hey, without uh, further ado, uh, can we get Clyde to come up? Council members, come up. Uh, first of all, thanks everybody for showing up, coming out. Second of all, if you voting, vote for Coach Banks, <laughs> Mayor Clayton, uh, Scope, City Council. And Robert Poole, whatever you want to vote, just vote for him. <laughs> seriously, seriously. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for showing up, coming out. Like I said, this is it's a great thing. 
but it's not about me. It's about the last name on there, and that was my father's name, Sinclair. All right. So, Amen. without a doubt, it's very special. Right. I like to thank my aunt, right. my last aunt that's living with Uncle Bird. She won't stand up now, but she'll cut you out. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> she'll give it to you later. She'll give you it. My bad, my bad, Bert. my bad. But seriously, y'all, thanks everyone. We're not going to be here long, about to fall out. We ain't priming back no more. It's time to go. <laughs> but we really, really on, on behalf of my family, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. I'd like to thank my, uh, my frat brother, New Game Alpha. <laughs> and uh, before I leave, there's just one thing I have to say. Uh, I came in the world with another one, a, a twin brother. <laughs> and from this day forward, he tells everybody that he's better than me. <laughs> and I don't have a problem with that. I went to King's College, Montclair was with me. I went to North Carolina Central, Montclair was with me. I went to the Washington General, mine was with me. <laughs> I went with the Harlem Globetrotters, and he did it 23 years with me. <laughs> so my thing is, I want to tell him I love him. He came in the world first, and I think he think he's my daddy. <laughs> but, <laughs> but seriously, I thank all you guys from the bottom of my heart. And you know, like I said, like Mr. Banks, Kareem said, it ain't about me. It's about this community getting better each and every day, each and every day, each and every day. So this is just a small thing with us. It's a small thing. But like I say, it's the Sinclair, it's the Green, it's the Lander, it's the Bird. All that name is in that Sinclair name. So that's a family thing. So I'm good with it. I'm very happy. Thank y'all. Uh, let's go home. <laughs> Where's our council member?